Nope. Because it's really hilly terrain here, you have a lot of these steep curves. And you really gotta watch out there. Because first of all, that can happen. <laughs> okay, great timing. And they can only see you at the last minute. Oh yeah, this view is way better. <laughs> All the road signs here have Croatian on top and then Italian under that. This region has, quite recently they changed it, they have Italian as second language, official, co-official language. It's only been like 2000 something, I don't know, somewhere in the 2000s. I think that's it. I think that's the town. This is the village of Groznjan, which is the Croatian name, and it also has an Italian name, Gristniana. This is supposed to be the most Italian town in Croatia. <laughs> Many of the Italians in Istria, they supported the Resignamento, which was a Italian movement for the unification of all the Italian states into a big Italian nation. Because of that, the Habsburg Empire and later Austro-Hungarian Empire preferred Croatian and Slovenian speakers. Later, Croatia and Slovenia became part of Yugoslavia. Italians were also not like during that period. Italian language schools were shut down and so on. Today there are still some Italian schools. There's like a youth, the whole city is kind of a youth center, so this is for users to eat breakfast. No. And it's like Croatian students or like foreign it's students? It's international. International. Okay. A blue house. That used to be the blacksmith. They seem to have this in most cities and towns, as far as I've seen. Uh, like, at least the historic ones. The manhole covers. I heard that there's a lot of Italian speaking people in this town. A lot of people. Italiano. Italiano. Or Fen Venetian, Venetian, Veneto. Ah, the lot of Italian people is here. Yeah. Live here, or? Yeah, or no? Oh, <laughs> it's, uh, if it's, if, no, I don't know. Uh, they are from here, but they speak Italian. Yeah, okay. Yes. But a lot of people speak Italian. Yes, yes. Okay. Ciao, Ciao. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> so, do you mostly speak Italian or Croatian? Me no. Me you know. You mostly speak Croatian? Croatian, yes. Okay. But I know Italian because it's... Yeah, I hear that I as well, like at the know. restaurants and at yes. the mm -hmm. hostels and stuff. They always have Italian and mm -hmm. yes. German yes. and sometimes they will speak more German than English. Uh-huh, yes. Yeah. yeah. And the name of the city is also in uh, Italian. Yeah, yeah like yes. a lot of the place names have the Italian mm -hmm. and the Croatian. Croatian Italian, yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, interesting. Well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. The first mention of this church was in 1310, but they built the tower in the 1800s.
On Wikipedia, it showed some census data that 90 something percent used to speak Italian here. I think it was based on surveys where they just asked whether people spoke Italian, not whether they actually considered themselves Italian. And a lot of people speak Italian in this area actually as a second language. This seems communist era with the star on top. commemorating the partisan deaths conquering this village. I can read some of the Italian because it's similar to Spanish, but um, Croatian is more difficult. But they still have some words that will sound similar. said that this is a church oh they have a graveyard that made way too much noise these all seem to be pretty recent yeah I've been to graveyards where there's like really old ones.